Hey guys, so remember that time that I went blonde over the summer and completely damaged my hair? And then remember that time where I turned my hair white for Halloween and ruined it some more? So some of you noticed for sure that my hair is really unhealthy. But luckily for me, the very lovely people over at Apogee also noticed how destroyed my hair got and they decided to send me a few things that would maybe kind of help me fix it a little. So not only were they kind enough to send over their keratin shampoo and keratin restructurizer in addition to their pro-vitamin leave-in conditioner, but they also were awesome enough to send over their two-step protein treatment along with the balancing moisturizer that goes with it. And if that wasn't enough, they also sent their hair strengthening kit. So I've seen Apogee products in Sally Beauty and in Target, and I've seen them online when I was kind of doing my own research on how I could kind of fix this mess. So I'm personally really jazzed to try this out. And so today we're gonna try their two-step protein treatment. So this is my hair before. This is my natural texture now. My hair used to be curly, as some of you maybe remember. This is what my hair used to look like. So that was what my natural hair actually is, and you can kind of see with my roots growing in, they're starting to curl again a little bit. But the rest of it is, um, you know, I don't even, I don't even know. It's really thin, it breaks a lot, it's just a whole mess. And this is what happens when you bleach the shit out of your hair and you try to get it white. And I did get it white, I did. but. Now I have to deal with this. And so I have no idea what to expect with this. I'm not gonna expect my curls to return. Hopefully there will be at least a mildly noticeable difference. And hopefully this video will show you guys that my hair isn't healthy. I still get comments on my videos and on my Instagram posts about how I keep my hair so healthy when I bleached it so much. And it's not, it's illusions. It's when I straighten it and I use all these products on it to make it look okay, when in reality, this is my hair now. All right, so I'm gonna stop babbling here. I know we all hate it when people talk a ton at the beginning before they actually start doing stuff. So we're gonna do stuff. All right, so the very first step on here, reading the directions, and I also watched some videos online, some tutorials. The first step is to wash your hair with the Apogee shampoo for damaged hair. I unfortunately don't have that, but I do have their keratin and green tea shampoo. So this is the shampoo that I have from them. I used it a couple times. I really like the smell, but this is what we're gonna use right now to prep my hair for the two-step protein treatment. So step two is to towel blot your hair. On the website, they mentioned to rinse the hair in lukewarm water. So now that my hair is blotted, towel dried, I'm going to shake up the protein treatment really well. And so the next step is to put it on my hair. I don't know why I'm a little bit nervous, but this should, this should be okay, right? This is gonna be good. Consistency is very liquidy and it is a like a honey, a honey color. So I'm just gonna put it in my hair, I guess? I don't know, oh my god. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm just gonna finger comb through my hair and then just start putting this treatment on. I know that uh, on the website they mentioned using an applicator bottle, but I'm too lazy to go get mine. So we're just gonna like, you know, go crazy using my hands. That seems like a good plan, probably. It's kind of starting to suds up in my hands. I'm kind of afraid that my hair wasn't dry enough, so I just kind of, just kind of squeezed some of the water out. Hopefully I didn't like squeeze the product out. Um, I don't know. And I know that the online tutorial mentioned to check the scalp beforehand for any cuts or anything. Um, and I can kind of feel why, because I have a cut on my hand and it's starting to burn a little bit. So I have no idea how much is enough, so I'm just gonna keep putting stuff on here. And I'm just gonna apologize for how ridiculous I look, but you know, that's okay. Okay, so I seriously, I have no idea how much I put on here. I still kind of feel like my hair's too wet. I don't know, I just, I just have, this is such a first impression situation right now. Ah! Do you guys, does this ever happen to you guys where you're trying a product for the first time and even though you read the directions a million times and you watched a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and you watched the official product demo, you're still just like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. So the next step is to go through the hair with a wide tooth comb to evenly distribute the product. So that's what I'm trying to do and I'm trying not to get get water slash treatment all over me and the floor, but it's happening. It's just happening anyway. 
Alright, so I fucked up and took too long to brush my hair. Um, because what this product actually does is it starts to harden. And so now it is really hard. I can't, I'm not gonna, this is, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked, I fucked up, I fucked up, it sucks. Alright, just kidding, I fixed it. I just combed my hair with my head flipped upside down because that's kind of how I applied the product. So, cool. And I just, I suck at doing things for the first time, you know? So the online demo said that if hair is longer than shoulder length, you can lightly slash loosely clip it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, I'm actually just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. All right, so I'm just gonna do this with my hair. Kind of like folded it back and then clipped it up a little bit. So just kidding, my hair fell down and hopefully this stays up. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So now the next step is to blow dry this. This product was originally designed to be used with a hooded dryer like at a salon, but I do not have one of those, but that is okay. You can use a handheld hair dryer. So the instructions say to use medium heat and the instructions also say to not agitate the hair. So let's do it. All right, so my hair feels almost rock hard all the way through. And nothing on the website or in the directions on the label say how long I should wait before rinsing. And so I'm not sure if I even should wait. We're just gonna, we're just gonna move on to the next step. So the next step is to re-wet and gently rinse thoroughly with warm water. And something important to keep in mind is not to comb or brush while the protein is dried in the hair. Um, I really wouldn't want to anyway, I feel like that would hurt. So I'm gonna go right ahead and rinse this out. So the next step is to towel dry the hair, and so that's what I'm gonna do. And so we're almost done. Next we get to use the Balancing Moisturizer. So I'm gonna apply this all over my hair and scalp, and then leave it on for two minutes. All right, so the balancing moisturizer has been in for a full two minutes, and the very last thing that we need to do to complete the two-step protein treatment from Apogee is a rinse. So I'm gonna go do that, I'm gonna rinse this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my hair air dry, just to see what it looks like without using any heat, a hair dryer, flat iron, anything on it. That way we can compare it to the before that I showed you. Again, I'm not expecting amazing results, but we'll see if there's a noticeable difference. If there's not a crazy noticeable difference, then I will straighten it and see how it feels then. I'm realizing that I maybe should have straightened my hair before to give a before straightened look, but that's okay, we're gonna work with what we have. And so I will check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I washed out the balancing moisturizer and I let my hair air dry, which took about two hours. And like I said, I was not expecting any major noticeable changes with my natural hair, um, with my natural hair texture. The only thing is that it does look a little bit like more curly, like there's a little bit more definition with the, the little squiggles um, in here, but I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. I can kind of tell with my ear tails that that happened, that they're a little bit curlier than they usually are. And so I'm not sure if that's something that the protein did or if that was the moisturizer or a combination of both. But overall, there's not a really marked noticeable difference with how my hair looks just if it air dries. However, there is a difference in how it feels and it feels a lot softer. Before my hair was very, very brittle to the touch when it just air dried, but I can feel a difference in softness. But what I'm gonna do next is straighten it and see how it looks then. I am going to use a heat protectant spray while I'm straightening though, and this is not from Apogee. This is something that I picked up at Sally Beauty. It is Beyond the Zones Turn Up the Heat. And so even though I would wanna kinda do an isolated test of how my hair is after the two-step protein treatment from Apogee, I am too afraid to just straighten my hair with no protection from the heat. So that's my little disclaimer that there is gonna be an additional product that I'm using. Otherwise, throughout this entire test, this first impression, I've only been using the Apogee shampoo and the treatment and stuff. The before shots of my hair didn't have any additional products on it, and right now I don't have any additional products. So this is what my hair looks like after the treatment, air drying, before straightening. And 
so this is my hair straightened. So this is the final result. My hair does feel softer than before. It also appeared to straighten better. Before it would be pretty hard to get the weird crinkly waves out, but it looks like my hair did a pretty good job of getting straight. So overall, I'm actually pretty pleased with the Apogee treatment. I know that my natural hair texture will never be the same until I grow it all the way out, but I'm definitely satisfied with my hair feeling better and feeling a lot softer. In terms of actually doing the process, it was pretty easy. One thing that I would change is that instead of just directly using the product out of the bottle, I'd maybe use the applicator bottle. The other thing that I'd maybe do differently is dry my hair a little bit more before putting on the two-step protein treatment. I just felt like it was a little bit too wet, but I did kind of squeeze that water out and then start putting on more treatment, so I think it was okay. And then finally, I would definitely try to comb my hair quicker so that it would be a little bit easier to comb it all through and then clip up just so it would be a little bit neater when I was using the hair dryer on it. It seemed to work okay, but for the future, those are just some things I would do differently. I do know that too much protein can be harmful for your hair. There is such a thing as having too much protein in your hair. And so this is not something to do every day and it's not something to do even every week. So comment down below if you are seeing any change in my hair, if there's any difference between how it looks right now versus how it's looked in the past, since I started bleaching that is. Also let me know if any of you have tried any of the Apogee products before, such as the leave-in conditioner or the green tea restructurizer, or even the two-step protein treatment or the hair strengthening kit. I'd like to say thank you to Apogee for sending me this care package to help me with my incredibly damaged hair. And I'd also like to say that this video was not sponsored. And so just to reiterate, Apogee did send me this as a care package to test out for you guys. They were free, I didn't pay for them. But this video is not sponsored by Apogee, which means that I am not getting paid by them to make this video. I wanted to do it on my own because my hair is fucked and I wanted to see if I could fix it. So that is it for this first impression, this demo, this review of Apogee's two-step protein treatment. Like I said, overall, I'm pretty dang satisfied and I will keep doing these on my own. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have links in the description and feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.